Hey, everybody. Boise State beat writer Ron Counts here with one of the Broncos' newest recruits, uh, Eagle running back Ethan Makita. Ethan, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, man. It's good to be here. Hey, thanks for coming on. Uh, so first of all, uh, you know, you're joining your hometown program. Uh, you know, what's it like to, to know you're that much closer to running out on that blue for on game day? Oh, sweet, man. You know, it's a dream school, like like you always say. Uh, a team I grew up, you know, watching, and my dad and my mom grew up watching. Um, we're huge fans, you know, it's just a bless, blessing, you know, great opportunity for me to have. So I'm super excited. So looking back on your senior year of high school, uh, the way your high school career ended is, is one of the more brutal stories I've heard in a long time. Uh, your first touch, touch of the season goes for a 60-yard touchdown. Your second touch, you tear your ACL. I mean, if you could just take it back to that moment, you know, what's going through your mind in that moment when you knew? Um, You know, it's, it, like you said, it started off so good, man. And, uh, you know, I was happy with how it started and uh, all my hard work went into that. And then that second touch, I tore it. Um, it was like a really mixed, mixed emotion type of moment, you know. Um, it really sucked, you know. Um, but to be honest, you know, it's all part of God's plan is what I think. And I believe I'm going to come back better. And I think, honestly, it was a good good thing that happened to me because it really humbled me and it showed me, like, that everything can go by so quickly and you got to cherish those moments, you know. Yeah. Yep. And despite the injury, you, you still had some options. Uh, Boise State got on you. I, I saw you had some op uh, offers from Idaho and a roster spot from College of Idaho, right? Uh, you know, yep. tell me, what was it about Boise State? I, I know you mentioned that it was your dream school, but what about the program and the school? What was it that sold you about the program? I think the program is headed into an amazing place. You know, Coach Avalos, um, him being here has really pushed me to go there. He's a great dude, you know, and I think that team is going to be balling in the future. Um, and they've put a lot of effort into me, especially with my knee. You know, I, I started off thinking, like, hopefully I'm going to get recruited. You know, I knew – I always believed in myself. And I knew I was going to be better than I was, and I was going to make it somewhere. But it really, you know, um, motivated me and showed me that they really care when they still kept reaching out to me and all that, even with my knee injury. So that meant a ton to me, and that was big in my decision. And, and I saw you play some wide receiver and running back during your high school career. What position is Boise State bringing you in at? They want me to play running back. Running back. So, so – yep. What about what about you? Do you think makes that a natural fit for you that position? Yeah, I think they think that my size and my explosiveness is going to fit really well there. Um, I'm five ten, two hundred, and that's kind of around the same size as all the running backs they got right now. So I feel like I fit pretty good. Uh, and they think my strength also is going to benefit me there. And um, you know, it's a, it's also the position I really wanted to play. So I'm super excited that they chose that for me. Sure. And yeah. I saw that uh, Washington came in with a late uh, preferred walk-on offer. Yep. Right? Uh, and, 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 and did you think about that at all? Did you consider, you know, jumping to, to Washington? Yeah, I definitely considered it. Me and my family, we talked for a while over it. Um, it's a, I mean, amazing opportunity to go play Pac-12, you know, for some great coaches. Lee Marks, he used to coach at Boise State. Mm -hmm. as you would obviously know. Uh, he's a really good dude, great coach. He's been around a little bit, so he knows what he's doing. But um, in the end, we just, you know, we believe that Coach Avalos is going to be um, the best coach for me and that uh, coach KB also we met him a couple weeks ago at a visit there and uh, you know he brought us in and treated us like family from the start and uh, I, I believe that he's going to be the best mentor for me as well so you look at Boise State's history at, the, at that position and they put a lot of running backs in the NFL I mean how exciting is that I'm pumped man yeah they're I mean I'd say they're one of the top blue chip running back places out there you know and right now even they got Halani Crow a couple of studs out there uh so I'm super excited to go in with those guys and have them show me the ropes and all that. And just, just knowing, like you said, I mean, they're putting these guys all the time. And in the end, obviously, that's the, that's the ultimate goal is to make it big. Um, so I'm super, super excited for that. And KB knows what he's doing, obviously. And I feel like he's going to teach me a ton about the game. And there, there's a long history of Idaho guys who have walked on to Boise State and been successful. You mentioned Tyler Crow, Leighton Van Der Esch. I mean, you know, there, there's an end, endless list. What's it like to be following those guys? It feels great, you know. That's a that's another thing is that that was why it was a huge choice to go to Boise State is because they're known for giving those guys scholarships and known for having these huge walk ons, you know, uh, making it big and ended up getting a ton of playing time and all that. So that was definitely a big, big uh, point of interest for my family. Um, you know, guys like Forzy and all of them, you know, um, earning scholarships, just they, they love the hard work there, you know, and I feel like I fit perfect. Just go work my butt off and then hopefully earn it.